Have a holly jolly Christmas. XOXO Gossip Girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle. So in today's video, I will be getting ready while I share some facts about myself. So let's get started. So my full name is Janelle Antoinette Hay. My middle names, all my dad's children have the same middle name. All the girls have the same middle name and all the boys have the same middle name. Like that's a must for him. My birthday is September 12. Do not believe in signs like your birth signs like I'm a Gemini so this is how I'm supposed to be like no I don't believe in that no like I cringe when someone brings that up like do not bring that up around me like that's one of my greatest beefs like eh, I know we're not about to work out when you bring that up like no don't bring that up around me I don't want to hear nothing about birth dates, birth stones, no. So yeah. I used to dance ballet when I was younger. I was so good at it. And uh, it always brings me joy when I'm doing it. My, and I always, and I did, and I did dance also. I remember going into dance competitions and we had dance practice every day and the competition, the medals, I remember it all. And to the fact that I was so shy, I was a shy person, I don't believe that I am shy anymore. Even if I'm shy now, I think my shyness is like probably a 30%, but back then, when I was smaller, I was so shy. So to look back now and to think that how did I perform in front of thousands of people, it was really nerve-wracking. I think I still have my dance uniform. And it was this short, short, short skirt. And I, I think why I chose to go into dance was for the uniform. This uniform was so cute. And the socks and shoes. And last child for both of my parents. Yeah, so I'm the baby of everyone. As I said that I was the most shy person. Back then, I was the most fearful person. I usually be scared of everything. I was so scared. Like, back then, I was scared of everything. I was so fearful fearful and i don't know if you know this but fear can stop you fear can stop you from achieving so many things so when i got over my fear i think i got over my fear in 2020 and it was literally one of the most amazing moments of my life like i let go of my fear in everything like that was the, one of the best moments of my life like if you are watching this and you're a fearful person just know that one day you may get over your fears and that's just going to be one of the best feeling ever if you're not a fearful person you won't you won't understand what i'm saying but only a fearful only a fearful person will get what i'm saying like when i was younger i would always pretend that i'm a youtuber because one thing about me which is very weird and i don't share this a lot is that i love talking to myself when i was younger <laughs> like i usually have full-on conversations with myself that is crazy but i always pretend that i have a youtube channel and i would always pretend i'm vlogging especially when i'm in the kitchen i would always pretend that i'm vlogging i'm like hey guys welcome back to my channel so having a youtube channel now it's not difficult to like talk to the camera or 
I'm afraid to talk because I'm already used to it because I always practice and pretend. When I was younger, I wanted to be every profession that there is in this entire world. Like I wanted to be a police when I was younger because I wanted to be a bank manager. And uh, it's so funny. I was just thinking about this the other day when I wanted to be a bank manager. Uh, why I wanted to be a bank manager is that I thought the money in the bank would be mine. I was a kid, so of course, I want to be a bank manager because the money in the bank, it's mine and I can't take it. <laughs> Little did I know, that's not how it works. I was really stuck on being a bank manager and then afterwards, I got into TV and I remember this was around when I was watching Pretty Little Liars and the girls in Pretty Little Liars, I love them so much and I was like, you know what, I want to be like them, I want to be on TV, I want to go to Hollywood, I want to live in Hollywood, I want to be on TV, I want to I do this acting thing. And back then, and I can act very well. I did acting classes and I'm very good at it. That's one thing about me. I'm very good at acting. And I wanted to be an actress so bad. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to act. I'm going to be an actress. And that was my goal. And then I got into business. I want to be a business person. I love business. Currently, I wanted to be a model. And I was, I got my nutritionist because you know, you have to be in shape. I got my nutritionist and I was working with my nutritionist to lose weight, exercise, and you know, get equipped. And I, my ticket was bought to go to New York to get with an agency and I canceled my trip. I did not go. I did not go. I canceled my tr I canceled my trip and uh, I just stayed. When I was in the process of model uh, modeling, it was really difficult. I was so miserable because of the strict diet. But yeah, I canceled it. So that's that. But just know that I want to do everything. If you're familiar with the movie 16 Wishes, then you know I wanted to be a little Celeste. One of my absolute favorite thing is going on night drives. Like, I can be the saddest point at my life and I think the one thing or one of the things that can cure it is a night drive I love driving in the night with the windows done music in my ears and just looking out the window and just living in the moment and pretend that I am not me. Like that's one of my favorite moments to live through. Positive person you will ever meet. Like I believe that there is power in what you put out in the universe. So I do my best. I don't try. I do my best to only speak positive things over my life and into the universe. Because when you talk negativity, it comes alive. Like, I've seen it many times. So why not talk positivity for it to come alive? I took Spanish classes and also French classes. So that would say that I can speak four languages. I'm not really, I'm not fluent in Spanish and French because I don't take the classes anymore. But yeah, you can say I know four languages. That's so cool. 
my first piercing that I got, I was eight years old. You know, normally kids get their piercings when they're babies, but my dad was so against it. And he, he told my mom never get her ears pierced when she's a baby because you don't know if when she gets older, she's going to be appreciative of that. Let her make her own choice. If she wants to pierce her ears yes or no because it is her body and let me tell you I was dying I was dying for that ear piercing and I remember when I went to get my ears pierced after school I was so mad because it hurt so bad i remember crying and i didn't want to get this one pierced i got this first and i was like no i don't want the next one i will walk around with one earring then i got my second ear piercing when i had to promise my mom that i'm gonna do very good in this test i'm gonna get a good grade and uh, my reward was to get my second pen piercing i did that and now that i'm looking back and i'm like what a waste because now i don't wear earrings my ears my ear is literally no earring at all i don't wear earrings anymore so that could have stayed i went to sign lounge classes in the summer it was so good we were looking at the biggest car lover right here that you have ever seen in your entire life like i love cars so much the way i love cars i think it's a problem like i've seen this tiktok video i think last month and in the audio it was this man and he was showing luxury vehicles and he was like the only reason that I make money is because of cars. Like, I don't care about anything else. I just care about cars and love cars. And that is me. Like, the only reason, one of the only reasons I think I would want to make money is because of cars. I love cars so much. And you have people that love different other, different things. You have people that... They love clothing so much. They love traveling. Everyone has their different love. And for me, it is cars. Like, I am obsessed with cars. And one of the things that will sell a car to me it is the interior. Like, I have to love the interior before I buy a car. And I want to know if I'm the only one that is like that. The interior is what sells the car. If it doesn't have a good interior, no matter the, the brand of the car or how I love the car, I would not get it. This is what it's called in the US, but I skipped kindergarten because I was such a crybaby and I didn't want to leave my mom. And I went straight to first grade. I don't know what the school system is like where you live. But I went straight to first grade when I was supposed to be a baby in kindergarten, I think. And I was scoring high marks up against the other kids. And uh, that's such a big thing. Christian with a full apostolic belief always hate dogs and love cats when i was younger i never had luck with dogs they would always run after me chasing me they could smell the fear from a mile away they would always run and chase me and i would always cry and i hate dogs but i remember one time i was riding my bike and I was passing this house, tons of dogs, and the dogs are just let loose. Like, the dogs are not on leash, nothing at all. 
and I'm coming on my bike and the dogs know that I fear them with my life and the dogs run and chase me while I'm on the bike and I was just pedaling I was pedaling for my life and I remember I, when I reached my house I jumped off the bike dashed it to the ground and it was this step outside to go into my house the entry area and i just dropped on the um the step and i just started crying and breathing out breathing in and my mom was inside and she heard me crying because i was literally screaming ah, right in and she heard me and like she come out she came out and like i was terrified i hate dogs i remember when i was younger I had this cat by the name of jj and he was an house cat, house pet, and I'm really shocked up until this day that he was an house pet because my mom don't like house pets, no. So he was a house pet, and I love JJ. He was such a cool cat, and we bathed him, we brushed his teeth, like, he was so cool. But then, he ran away. And he didn't even run away at our house. We brought him to my grandmother's house. And because the yard is not fully secured. So that's the end of JJ. In 2016, 2018, 2016 or 2017, I think 2016, I got this stray dog in my yard. And I was like. I want to keep this dog. I'm going to keep this dog. I want this dog. And uh, I named him Prince. Well, let me tell you. The same stray dog that I kept bit me on my toe. Like, I'm telling you, I have the worst luck with dogs. But I kept him still. I remember I didn't even want him after he bit me. My mom was like, you, well, you're going to keep him. And I still kept him. And... I loved him so much and I took care of him and that was how my love came around for dogs and now I hate cats. How did the story change? And I had Prince for about four years or so. He died in 2021. September 3rd, he died of kidney failure. So rest in peace to Prince. I cried so much. Like I never knew how serious it was to like lose a dog and like crying. Like it was literally a like a family member. So if you have never experienced losing a dog and you're wondering why the hell are people crying over a dog because that's how i usually i used to think until it happened to me and i'm like damn those are some real things so you won't understand until you experience it that's real pretty little liars i remember i was telling you guys about pretty little liars that i am obsessed with the movie and those girls inspired me to wanting to become an actress i know every word every line in pretty little liars word for word like i can recite the entire movie because that would be the only show that i would watch and when i finished it i would re-watch it over and over again so i know i literally knew all the liars line and I think I should have been in the sequel. Like, no cap. I think that I should have been in the sequel. That's to how much I was obsessed with Pretty Little Liars. And I knew all the lines. I'm not capping. I watch that show religiously every day for hours and recite the lines. That's how obsessed I was with Pretty Little Liars. And... I've always wondered why. I've never obsessed over any other movie like that. And as I'm thinking right now, I don't think I would ever be obsessed over another movie like that. Something about that movie. I'm such a night person. I 
Okay, mornings. I love to stay up at night. I feel alive at night. And uh, I think I suffer from insomnia. That is my thing. I cannot sleep early for the life of me. And you wonder, why is it that you can't sleep early? I don't know. I just cannot sleep early. And I think my issue is because I cannot pry my phone from my hand. So I'm just there scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And it's affecting me. My under eyes are black. I literally have raccoon eyes. And I never had that before. But now it's vlogmas so i have a good excuse to stay up late to edit vlogs for you so of course yeah the only good reason to stay up late and now i'm done that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys learned something new about me if you guys want to know anything else, you can just ask in the comment section. I want to do a Q&A because my subscriber is growing and I'm very grateful for that. So I want you guys to get to know me a little more. So I think I'll be doing a Q&A very soon. And uh, yeah, this is Vlogmas Day 4. I'm filming this December 3rd. So you see this tomorrow, which is a Sunday. I'm very thankful for the support that I'm getting on my Vlogmas videos. They're doing very, very good for my little channel i'm so grateful so continue subscribing continue liking commenting tell me what other videos you want to see i know you guys this is like the third sit down video and i think i'm gonna have a next one um for tomorrow for tuesday i'm not sure but i promise you i have vlogs coming vlogs are coming so don't get bored and don't worry thank you guys so much for supporting me I'm so grateful and I'm thankful for all the love.